Julie Strain, the unstoppable queen of B-movies. February 18, 1962 to January 10, 2021. This period marks the remarkable journey of Julie Strain, an American actress and model who carved a niche for herself in the world of B-movies and beyond. Known for her statuesque presence, towering at 6 feet 1 inch, 1.85 meters, Strain's career was a blend of sensual allure and unrelenting charisma, making her a prominent figure in the genre she dominated. Early life and athletic beginnings. Born in Concord, California, Julie Strain's roots were grounded in athleticism. A graduate of Diablo Valley College, she possessed an extensive athletic background that laid the foundation for her later endeavors. Her move to Las Vegas, followed by a transition to Hollywood, California, marked the beginning of a journey that would see her become an icon of the B-movie circuit. Rise to fame, penthouse, and beyond. Strain's rise to fame began with her selection as Penthouse Pet of the Month in June 1991, followed by the prestigious title of Penthouse Pet of the Year in 1993. This catapulted her into the limelight, where she became a favored muse for many comic book artists, including Simon Bisley, Milo Monera, and Kevin Eastman. Her partnership with Eastman, who she later married, further cemented her place in the world of adult entertainment and B-movies. With over 100 films to her credit, Julie Strain earned the moniker Queen of B-movies. Her roles often showcased her unique blend of beauty and toughness, making her a beloved figure in the genre. Strain's mainstream appeal was most evident in her portrayal of the protagonist in the animated film Heavy Metal 2000 where she also lent her voice. Her likeness was immortalized in the third-person shooter video game Heavy Metal, FAKK2, blending her on-screen and off-screen personas seamlessly. Cinematic and artistic contributions. Julie Strain's influence extended beyond film. She was a frequent guest panelist at comic book conventions like the San Diego Comic-Con, where her presence was always a highlight. Her contributions to the world of comics and animation were celebrated through her collaborations with renowned artists and her appearances in numerous documentaries, including Some Nudity Required, 1998, and Something to Scream About, 2004. In 1997, Strain's autobiography Six Foot One and Worth the Climb was published by Heavy Metal. This richly illustrated book, featuring works by Boris Vallejo, Julie Bell, and Olivia de Burardinus provided an intimate glimpse into her life and career, solidifying her legacy in the world of adult entertainment and B-movies. Personal Life and Tragic End Julie Strain's personal life was as eventful as her career. From 1995 to 2006, she was married to Kevin Eastman, co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and their collaborations in films like Day of the Warrior and L. T. H. A. L. Ladies, Return to Savage Beach are a testament to their creative synergy. However, Strain's life was not without its challenges. Much of her memory from her youth was lost due to retrograde amnesia caused by a head injury in her 20s. This tragic accident led to her later struggles with dementia. In November 2018, her boyfriend Dave Graham announced that she was in the late stages of dementia and receiving hospice care at home. A premature report of her death in January 2020 by Malibu Bay Films highlighted the fragile nature of her condition. Julie Strain ultimately passed away on January 10, 2021, at the age of 58. Julie Strain's legacy is one of resilience, artistry, and an unapologetic embrace of her persona. She remains an indelible figure in the world of B-movies, a testament to the allure and impact of the genre she so dominantly ruled. Who's your daddy?